I'm Robert, and today I'm going to be sharing with you how to quick catch in Pokemon Go. If you have not previously been exposed to this method, then I'm just going to tell you this is the number one tip I will give to any Pokemon Go player. The quality of life from being able to skip the catching animation is so helpful. You'll be able to find yourself catching over 300 Pokemon in a single hour, making community days, spotlight hours, and other special events just so much better for your experience. Now, before we get into it, I just want to say if you find this video helpful or if you like it, then please consider leaving a like and also please subscribe. As I said, this is the first tip that I recommend to any Pokemon Go players. And as such, this is only the first video of many tip videos that I will be coming out with over the next couple weeks. So if you're in for it, please consider hit subscribing. Now, allow me to teach you how to properly quick catch so that you're not left behind embarrassing yourself trying to catch Pokemon. All right, let's just go on and hop right into this. There's no reason to delay it. And I, the first Pokemon I clicked on was this Sneasel here. This is not during the limited time research. It just happened to be shiny. So we're gonna show this trick off on a shiny Sneasel here. The first thing you wanna do is after you throw your berry and select the ball that you are gonna wanna throw at it, you will choose to either hold down the berry here or you can choose to hold down the Pokeball. You can do it with either side. So if you're left-handed, I do it with this one. Uh, wait, yeah. Yeah, if you're left-handed, you can do it with uh, the berry with one hand, and then you can throw the ball with your left hand. Or if you're right-handed like I am, the way I do it is I take my thumb, I hold down on the Pokeball Select, and I hold it, I don't release, and then I move my thumb over to the other side of my screen. You can kind of see how the Pokeball expands and gets dragged with it. I don't let go, and that's the secret to this. And then with my other hand, I'm free to throw this Pokeball just like I normally would. And so what I'm going to do is just throw it. And then once the Pokemon Pokeball makes contact, you can exit out of it, click one time, it'll get rid of it. And then, as you can see up here, we have this escape. So I waited. What I did there, because it was a shiny, I wanted to make sure. I waited until I saw three shakes. When a Pokemon shakes three times, it's guaranteed to be caught. And at that point, there's no reason to watch the rest of the animation. And if we go to our Pokemon, we can see that Sneasel is right there. So let's go ahead and do some rapid fire as you can actually realize the potential of this. The Grimer, boom, let it touch, it can touch anywhere, and then you can back out. Easy as that. And then if it stays on the map, when you re-click it, if you didn't catch it, you just get to throw at it again. That's as simple as this trick is. Hopefully this time we'll try for a better throw, let it attack, and get a great throw. Boom, Grimer gone. Let's see if we caught it right there. Caught the Grimer. And that's all there is to this trick. There is something else I want to note though before you accept that this is everything. That this trick does not work on incense Pokemon. Pokemon that you gain from incense is the only Pokemon. And the reason what I mean by it won't work is that how the Grimer disappeared, or man, Pikachu's are not great Pokemon here. Or whenever you click on a Pokemon that is still on the map and you have successfully caught it with this, it'll give an error message and the Pokemon will go away, hopefully. Yeah, see the Pikachu went away, little puff of smoke went away. Instance Pokemon will not go away, even if you've caught them. They will let you throw infinite balls at them, so please be careful of that. So basically my only tip for that is during spotlight hours and during community days, quick catch everything the way that I've taught you now, and then regular catch incense. Or just do come up with some kind of method that you're comfortable with to remember. But anyway, with that, and that's that's really it. Yeah, this first tip, hope you enjoyed. Once again, please consider liking if you have. And I hope you have a wonderful, fantastic day. Until next time.